<laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother Silver. It's day 19. The time is 6.15. It's time to catch up with Charlotte Hudson, who's been hanging out with the good people of Lanel Festiniog. I think you're fine. That's the correct pronunciation of Glen's hometown. Yes, BBLB, we have come right here to Blynau Festiniog, the home of Glyn. This is the paper shop where Glyn was a paper boy. What kind of an employee was well, he? Well, my sister was the boss, but he started to work on Sunday mornings, which were uh, half past five in the morning, which he wasn't so keen on getting up in the morning, so he only lasted two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. And does he still come into this shop? He does still come in, yeah, to see often. What yes. does he buy? Does he well, get just... things from like the top shelf, maybe? No, no, we don't want to be honest, we don't do much top shelves here. <laughs> Guys, have you got a message for Glyn? Sadak Ki Hlan. The man who styled Glyn as a youth is now styling me. So, Mike, talk me through some of Glyn's earlier looks. Oh, pretty smart, short back and sides, young type of lad. Never had long hair. He's got a very difficult growth in the back, I don't know if you've noticed Well, it, I haven't. Yeah. He's gone changé today, you know. Yeah, well, I think he's gone chestnut now, hasn't he? He where did Ah, can't do that. You'll never guess where I am. I'm in Glyn's swimming pool. Guys! <laughs> I'm here with Bryn, who is the manager of the pool and therefore Glyn's still official boss. How are you feeling, Bryn? Short stuffed, but apart from that, we're fine. You got lots of publicity because he actually came in dressed as a lifeguard. That must have made you feel proud. Well, no, it didn't actually, because he was using one of our rescue aids. Do you have um, a particular message of support you'd like to send to our Glyn? Yes, don't come home until he's won. Are you on me? I'm at Glyn's house. How excited are we on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, I'm getting so excited by now. It's going to the end now, so about 11, I think. When anyone talks about Glyn, they always talk about the journey that he's been on. How have you seen that journey? He's learned to cook, he's learned to make his own clothes, so um, he'll come out and, um, you know, he'll give um, Anne and then... Um, is this a good help for the cooking? What, as the family, have you felt to be the most embarrassing Glyn moment? It has to be the, um, with the condom scene. Well, as a sister, <laughs> there are some things that we just don't want to know. Yes. <laughs> What's been your proudest moment? Majorettes. Because Glyn, if he does something, he has to do it thoroughly. So if we have one final message to Glyn, what would you say? I think you've done brilliantly. You've then you, you've reached your ambition, what you wanted, you've reached the finals, and you've done very well. Bye. 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 Bye.